Okay, so in this video, and I'll just, you can just see on the right hand side what I ended up with, I've changed the title. I'm going to have a select a theme, and it's either going to be default or Wall Street Journal. Now, right now, I don't even have the Wall Street Journal one in there. I just wanted to show in this video, show you that I'm going to get this button here, and then I'm going to have it output a scatter plot um, using ggplot and just the default scatter plot you would get with, uh, with ggplot. So here's what I did. I went down, of course, in the title panel, I changed the title. That's simple enough. And then in the, I left in this slider input thing. I need, can take that comment out. That's not uh, um, relevant anymore. It's a sidebar with, uh, uh, I don't know what to call that, um, pull down menu or select. Um, for um, theme, and right now we just have the default theme in there. But anyway, then we're going to have the sidebar layout. If this were on a bigger uh, page, you, this would the top part there would be uh, on you know, it'd look like that. But this is I'm dealing with the screen that I have for for this recording, and uh, so my sidebar bar panel now it's. And before it was, um, I can't remember exactly, but it's select input now. Um, so I had to change that to select. I can't remember exactly what it was now, but what it was before. Um, but I had to change that, and I changed, I'm going to select the theme, so that's what I'm going to call it. And then my directions here were please select a theme, and then I have to tell it what my choices are going to be, and they're going to be uh, a Choices equals C, concatenate, default, or Wall Street Journal. And if we pulled this over a little bit, you would see that there's some parentheses and stuff uh, there. Okay, and then just going on down. I'm saying I want to make some output. I could have called that something other than distribution plot, and probably should, but... Um, let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's call that a scatter plot. So I'm going to plot an output, and that's going to put the scatter plot down here. Reading the data in college, that's just a data set that I have. Then I had to load the library ggplot2. If you have to install that, you'll need to install ggplot2 first, but there's my library. And then I'm going to do my output, and I'm going to have to change now to call that scatter, since that's what I've called it now. And I'm going to render that plot. And so here's just the ggplot commands. ggplot, college is the name of the data set. Aesthetics, my x is going to be the top 10%. Uh, that's the top, uh, that's the percentage of uh, students that graduated in the top 10% of their high school class. And Y is the graduation rate, and my GM is just point. I'm just going to plot uh, points there. And that's all I did. And then, uh, so I'm going to stop the uh, one there, and then um, I'm going to run the app again. It'll make you save it. And then there's the, uh, what I have, and you can have a look at that.